Welcome to Formative. Here is a quick introduction to Formative. First of all, let me share with you how to create your classes. From your dashboard, click on the Classes tab. Then click on the plus new class button. After that, you have to enter your class name. Enter a two-letter abbreviation. Select the grade. Select the subject. Pick the color to your classes. Finally, click Create. You can even share the class code with your students, asking them to go to goformative.com to join your classes. You can add your students manually by adding their names. Also, you can import your classes or students from your Google Classroom. So you don't have to create classes or add students anymore. To create a formative, click on the plus new formative button. All what you need to do is to have a title, to write a title to your formative. Then click on the plus icon to add your content or even to add your questions. You can enhance a PDF or a document or even a Google document from your computer or from your Google Drive. All what you need to do is to upload your content from your computer. Once your content is uploaded, all what you need to do is to click on anywhere on your content and start adding your questions like this. After your content has been uploaded, click on anywhere and start adding your questions. After that, let me tell you how to grab and edit a formative from the library. From your dashboard, click on the library tab. You can do so many things. You can sort your formative by popularity, by rating, or even by date. You can filter them by author, by grades, by subject, by type, or even by standard. Once you find the formative that you are looking for, like the present symbol, all what you need to do is to click on the plus icon. After clicking on it, add, click on add to my formative list. Now you can go straight to your new formative and start editing it. You can assign a formative to a class or even to a guest student. All what you need to do is to click on Assign at the top of your page. Then select the class you are going to assign the formative to. You can even adjust settings. Also, you can select a guest speaker by sharing the formative code with them. Those guest speaker or guest students don't have a formative account. So all what they need to do is to go to goformative.com. No need to sign up or log in. All what they need to do is to click on join code and type the code you shared with them and enter their names. After that, they have to click on get started now and they will be directly into your formative. To view and degrade students' responses, you have to click on View Responses at the top of your page. Then, at the top of your page, you have the total icon or tab. You can view your class progress you can even view responses for individual questions by clicking on the question number. Also, you can view students' responses by clicking on their responses, like this. Finally, you can track your students' responses by clicking on Tracker on the top of your page. 
You can even export your students' responses or results and do so many things. Thank you so much.